Hello and welcome to a new video on Neil's Retro Hobby Room. Again, it has been some while since I created a new video. And this is because I collected many things. I have a lot of projects that I want to work on and uh, I need a lot of components for these projects. And as you know, we have a chip shortage uh, worldwide and that's why I'm still waiting for a lot of components for many of my projects. But today I think I have a quite interesting project that I want to test live on camera. And this is uh, the usage of my new microscope. I bought a USB microscope, very cheap on Amazon or eBay, I don't remember. And I want to use this microscope here to have a look at a very tiny PCB that I have. And that PCB is for the Pi Storm. I started soldering the PCB some while ago and I used magnifying glasses and I realized that magnifying glasses are not enough for this tiny, tiny PCB here. I hope you can see this. And um, as you can see, I already soldered the, this chip here onto the PCB and this chip is an FPGA that is needed for the Pi Storm. And the Pi Storm is a replacement for the 68 um, thousand CPU of my uh, of one of my Amiga 500 and yeah to continue the soldering and to control how good my soldering works since I'm by far no expert with SMD soldering I thought a USB microscope could be helpful so I bought this USB microscope and I tested it with my computer but it would be nice to use this microscope with this TV here on my back and I had a thought about how to connect the USB microscope to the, PC, uh, to the TV. And I came to the conclusion that I need a computer. And I r found a really nice computer to do so. And that is this one here. That you have probably already seen. This is a Raspberry Pi 400. And what I especially like with this computer is, at first it's a Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pis of course are cool, but this is a keyboard computer. So you have this nice keyboard here and you have a Raspberry Pi 4 inside that a keyboard case. So you have a full-fledged computer, a full-fledged PC. And my idea is to use the Raspberry Pi 400 together with my new USB microscope to connect it to the TV on my back. And I want to do this live on this video here, or in this video here. And um, yeah, let's first have a look on the desk on all of the components I have. Then let's connect all of these. And then let's see if we can see our microscope output on the TV. At first, let's have a look at my new microscope. As you can see here, this is a USB microscope. You have this um, nice plate here. So I bought these components separately. I have this um, food where you can put your PCB or whatever you want to see onto it. Then you have the microscope itself. This I bought on Amazon or eBay. I don't remember actually. It's a Yinama microscope. It's very cheap, but it's uh, good enough to have a look at different, at my um, PCBs. And as you can see here, you have a USB cable and this USB cable then goes into the Raspberry Pi 400. Here we have the Raspberry Pi 400 and yeah, let's have a look inside the package. And here, is, here it is in all of its beauty. It's a very small, nice keyboard. As you can see, compared to my hand, it's not very big. <laughs> Let's put the packet away. It comes completely assembled. And here you can see a lot of um, connections. So you can connect a network cable to it. We have several USB connectors. Here we are, I think it makes more sense to turn it around. Okay, so here we have 
the USB connectors. This is a power connector. Here we have two HDMI connectors and here you have an SD card slot. And I already put the Raspberry Pi operating system on my PC onto that um, card. So what else do we got? We got also the original Raspberry Pi mouse here. So let's open it and have a look. This is a Raspberry Pi mouse and yeah, it fits quite nicely into my hand. I really like the design because it fit, fits perfectly to um, the Raspberry Pi 400. We have a nice cable, let's untie it. That goes directly into the Raspberry Pi 400. What else do we got? We have an original Raspberry Pi USB power supply. Inside, inside this we have the power supply with the cable. Also, let's untie it. This is a cable. And I also ordered two different types of HDMI cables. I have a two meter SD, uh, HDMI cable and I have a one meter HDMI cable. And to be more flexible, I think I will use a two meter HDMI cable in this video here. Let's open this up. And this is a HDMI cable I want to use. So we have the power supply, the mouse and the Raspberry Pi 400. And on the right side of me, we have the USB microscope. I will now assemble it and then we will have a look at how it works. As you can see, <laughs> it didn't work as I wanted it to work. And the problem was <laughs> that I ordered the wrong HDMI cable. I needed a micro HDMI cable, but I ordered a mini HDMI cable. So I had to order another cable, wait two days for it to arrive, and then I could finally test my setup here. And meanwhile, I also tried to solder my, or work on my <laughs> PyStorm that you can see here. But to be honest, my soldering skills are not good enough to solder these small things. So the next plan for the um, Pi here, for the Pi Storm here is to obtain a solder mask, then put solder paste on it and try it with an oven instead of a soldering iron and a hot air gun that I have. But yeah, now let's have a look at the Raspberry Pi 400 with the USB microphone. And as you can see here, this is already the picture of the USB microscope. And um, yeah, let's put the um, PCB onto that. And I think this is really nice. As you can see here, you can see all the tiny connectors, the, PC, uh, the soldering plates on the PCB. And yeah, this is <laughs> now on my TV screen here. And it really helps to work on these tiny, small PCBs. In the past, I already uh, SMD soldered uh, RGB connector for the um, Amiga. And as I said, I want to um, solder or to assemble in one of my next videos this PCB here. 
And I think this is a really nice um, tool here, the USB microscope together with the Raspberry Pi 400. Yeah, and this is everything that I wanted to show you in this short video. I hope you like it. If yes, please give a thumbs up. Also, if you did not yet subscribe to this channel and you want to see more electronic and programming and retro stuff, then I would be really happy if you subscribe to this channel. But as I said, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.